right. We're here in different square. Do not stay here for long. We're going to go on. We're heading off to find the sorcerer known as Mordus. As we were sent by Loha, the Dwarven underboss, a boss of the Dwarven underground. Um, Watch it. Those are source hounds. All right. Um, not much of a landlubber, but sometimes I get no choice in the matter. Besides, I'm not trying to converse with you. Right. Perhaps there's another way here. What's here? could probably force our way through those magisters at the checkpoint, but we'd rather not cause trouble here in Driftwood for now. Alright, we have we have basically left the town. What's here? Before we go off. Hmm. Quiet little cove. Hello. A fisherman stares at the water, muttering to himself. The missus will kill me. She'll tear me a new mouth halfway down my neck. I guess the fish are biting, eh? Fish will bite all right. Not that you'd eat one. I've got a worse problem than that. Way, way worse. I've gone and dropped my wedding ring in the water. How? Oh. Uh, what happened exactly? I was casting a line and I cast me bloody wedding ring instead. Guess my fingers aren't as fat as they used to be. Huh. Well, it could be worse. It's just a ring after all, huh? He contrives to give you a sad look. The wife's got a sentimental attachment to that ring. Her mum took it off her dad's drowned body, here, on this very beach. Ah, that's... That's kind of um, morbid. Hmm. Though it's mighty hard to pry a ring from a bloated corpse's finger, I would think. Maybe she cut his finger off first. Do you think about that, smarty pants? How about if I cut your finger off? Ah, I'm joshing ya. Scammed it off a drunken elf in the tavern a few years back. But still, the wife will be furious. Then why don't you just walk in there and get the ring? It doesn't look too deep. I could do that. I could. But seeing as the ring has a bit of sauce to it, like as not, going in there will attract Voidwoken. All things equal, between an angry wife and Voidwoken, I'm leaning towards the wife. The ring has a bit of sauce to it? Now, you're not joshing me this time, are you? Just a hint. Nothing that concerned a Magister. Made me feel that little bit more confident in myself. Maybe it was all in my head, but I felt like the ring made me more attractive to the women. I wouldn't do the dirt or anything, but it's good for the ego. Keeps a wife on her toes, too. Hmm. Yes, then I guess it's better to stay out of the water, then. <sighs> Guess I'll have to face herself instead then. She won't be happy. Better get fishing then. Bit of gold for dinner at the tavern might soften the blow. Wishing you a better day than mine, stranger. Uh, we'll see. What's this? Huh. I found something. All right, that's the ring. But if it does have sauce. Um, Sabeel? Beast? Alright. Get up there. And Sabeel. But you all right. 
Now on second thought, beast come down here. It's better that you're close by. Where's the ring? That is. Should it be any problem getting a ring? Alright. Oh shit. What the hell? Still managed to see Sibyl all the way there. Oh really? really. Get out of there, my dear. Oh, come on. Where can she go? Damn, these things really, really hate her. Right there. Right, come here. And make yourself invisible. Given Prince, the Red Prince, a uh, new talent, Savage Sortilage, supposedly will greatly enhance his critical chance with his uh, shield. Uh oh. Ouch. Damn you. These things are insufferable. Alright, um. Let's get out of the water, I guess. Spring out Nathan. Right over there. I'm ready. Right. Right, good. Fortunately, only one hit. Damn, these things can move. They're all over the place. Right, three of them over there. I'll yield to now. I think they're weak to fire. So let's have some fire. <laughs> and uh, give yourself some carry evasion. Right, get roasted, you stupid frogs. Ha, all right. I keep hitting that one. Bastard tried to kill Sabeel. Right. Uh, can you taunt him? Oh my gosh! Well, as long as he... As long as he wastes all his efforts on... On our summon, it's fine. Now let's get Sibir to a... Advantageous spot. Anyone left here? They've all left! 
All right, let's wait, just wait. All right, all right. Oh, shit. All right, there goes Nathan. Uh, my prince. Head on down. And... I guess that's all you can do. for Nathan to recharge. Anything else we can do? Guess there's nothing else at this point. Alright. Maybe you can kill that one. Alright, good, very good, very good. Focus! Damn it. Just because they can't hit you doesn't mean that you shouldn't hit them. Whatever. Knock them down. And hit that one. Oh, come on! He's really beast. Sometimes your incompetence with your weapon is truly something. Wow, look at that. Alright, Sabio. Can you hit him? Why can't you hit him? He's right there. Uh, oh my god. Alright. Alright. Pin him down. How could you miss? How could you fucking miss? Right, much better, much better. Alright, good, good. If you could have killed it. Vince. Potentially we can kill this thing. Alright. You are a maestro with that shield, my friend. Now flatten him. Alright. Alright, good. And let's finish off that bastard. Can't reach him. Fireball, perhaps? Yes. Goodbye. What? Oh, come on. Let's finish him off with a shield. Ha! Back to the hell that spawned you, beast. Well, not you, beast. The other beast. Anyway. You know what I mean. The Star Widow is still around. Very, very durable. Come on, please, come on. Oh, right. Uh, let's teleport one of these idiots. You. You. Uh, what? So we can't see. We can't see because of the damn... Lightning Radiance. Alright, like that. Stupid shit. Alright, um. Pikmin Blow. Hopefully, we'll hit more than one. You really can't see anything. You really?
Healy. Oh. And you're useless. Sometimes you're you're utterly useless. <laughs> Finally, you're still alive, at least. That's all you can do. Hmm. Right, let's, uh, let's give haste to our bone widow. Can we? No. Too far away. Alright, how about the prince? No, Ida? What the hell? What's that? Why is that a thing? Oh, come on. Alright, let's just haste. Haste yourself. Yes, ribbit. Prince, you are on a roll. Huh? Right, move forward. And uh, fire, I guess. Fire on that one. Don't worry about the widow. She can take it. Ah, so much smoke. Which probably means that. Uh, won't be able to aim properly. Yeah. Uh, let's just fire light laser blast. Oh well. Didn't do as much damage as we'd hoped. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ouch. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. At least she's not stunned. It out. And now she starts. Oh, well. You missed. Why are all of you missing? It's really irritating. The enemies don't miss. Why do you? Ah. Are they just better than the... Uh, than all of you, better than all of us. How many are left? I think there's only one left. All right, come on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? That's dead. There you are. And... Uh, shield at it? Can we hit it? No, it's blocked. Oh, come on. All right, Bone Widow finished off. All right. Ah. Roll call. Is everyone alive? And you're alive too. We have the ring. Where's the ring? Oh, there it is. Well, what it's supposed to be. Copper ring. 15 magic armor, 20% water resistance, plus 1 persuasion. Really? Do you want your ring back? A horrified fisherman stares at the water, muttering to himself. That was terrifying. I need to get myself a new line of work. Something as far away from the water as I can go. Goat herd. High on a mountain. Spice trader in the deserts. Anything but this. Uh, I can't blame you. If the missus will go for it, of course. She likes the beach. Ah. Here's the ring. We found it. It's probably yours. You found it? How wonderful! The wife will be thrilled. Or she would if she ever found out about this, which of course she won't. But I can't thank you enough. 
Well, it is possible for you to thank us a bit too little. All right, here. Here's your ring. He slips the ring onto his finger, where it dangles loose. I feel better already. I need to fatten myself up again so I don't lose it a second time. Can't be relying on the kindness of strangers to dig me out. The very best to you. I wish you well. All right. Best to you too. Take care. With a new confidence in his stance, he turns back to his fishing. Uh, whatever. Anyway, all's weather ends well. We're all still alive. Hey, Sabiel? At least you're not dead. Didn't have to... waste any resurrection scrolls. Not that uh, bringing any of you back is a waste, really. Uh, of course, it's worth a piece of paper and some magic to bring you back, any of you. So what do you have? Ooh! Corrupted Blade. Oh! Damn. It's for rogues. What is this? Demonic Hatchet. Don't think it's as good as what Prince has right now. Where is it? We'll see. Uh, where's Beast Beast? Come on, where are you? Yes, I know you took care of all those voidlings by yourself. Come down here. Right, are we all together? Well, we did get a bit of experience. And now we can level up, actually. We are now all level 11. Quite a good thing, actually. Well, it was a bit of fun. Even though it was a life of death struggle for a while. I think it's good to help uh, your fellow man every now and then, your fellow mortals. It was just a little ring. In any case, yes, uh, let's check out that, that new axe. So right now, Prince is doing 72 to 82. If you switch out to the demonic hatchet, 59 to, 59 to 72. Seventy-two to eighty-two. It's so much, such a big difference. But then again, yes, this has so many things going for it. It's level nine, while the other one is level ten. But this has a slot, so. Uh, Let's check it out, what we can do with it. We could add a flame rune, fire damage, physical damage, water damage. Let's try that. If that's, if we do that, it does. 3 to 4 water. Alright, how much... How's that? 66 to 81. 66 to 81. I have, I have such a bad memory. 66 to 81 against... Alright, well, really. There's no comparison. Alright, let's just take it out. We can just sell it. All right. Anyway, I think we'll be continuing our journey onward. Our search for Mordus at Wrecker's Cave will continue shortly. 
or perhaps we might head back to town to sell some loot and then we'll be back on the trail yet again uh oh all right we are past them we could have fought them but uh, rather not cause uh, too much disturbance here in Driftwood. Hmm. What's this? Oh, let's head back a bit. I'm not liking that oil. Hmm. It's not a good place to be passing through. Prime spot for an ambush, I'd say. Come on. Just be careful. Maybe we can zip on by, huh? While the smoke is still up. Creeping little flies. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I can feel a dark power clouding these dwarves' minds. Let's try to drive it away. The power recoils from your attack. It clearly wasn't expecting any resistance. You can feel it trying to maintain control on the dwarves' minds, but it's slipping. All right, all right. The eyes of the dwarves, once a solid black, clear for a moment. They look about in confusion, in panic, and then race for the bushes. On the cliffs, ambush! If there are dwarves, maybe they were once Lohar's people? Apparently something is resting control over them, possessing them. Maybe that's why he's been suffering these mutinies, these attempted murders on him. Something is taking control of this people. Here. It was a massacre. What? Oh, gods. Alright. Let's explore a bit. What's over here? Ooh, mushrooms. <laughs> Very nice. Well, it should be helpful for our friends. Anything else here? No? Hmm. Yes, this is a prime spot for an ambush. Dwarves could just strike from up here. Hmm. Maybe we should check this out first. Who are these dwarves? Well, it's probably Lohar's people before whatever happened to them happened. What's this? Hello? Keep on walking, bud. Ha. Huh. Um, hello. You got moss for ears. Scram. The face of a dwarf appears from the shadows. You notice a couple of fresh scratches on his cheek, partially hidden by a thick beard. You got a problem with simple instructions, friend? Leave. Now. Your camp is covered in bodies. You really expect us to just walk away, no questions asked? Don't know about no questions asked, but there'll be no answers given. Now leave. We were just attacked by strange dwarves. You're in no mood for games. <laughs> I'm in no mood for games, dwarf. Your people just attacked us. The dwarf freezes, his face a mask. And? Are they dead? Well, the ones here are. The dwarf's face falls. He looks utterly devastated. God's truth. 
All right, all right, don't worry. We are not here to harm you. What happened here? I... I was looking for mushrooms when I heard the shouts. Ran out as fast as I could, but I, I took a tumble. The crew was fighting amongst themselves, tearing each other apart. They had these pitch black eyes and fought like demons. Well, that sounds just like those dwarves we saw. Hell, maybe they were demons. I only managed to drag Valene in here before the bloody Void Walken turned up to finish the job. Void Walken? Oh, damn. I've never seen such slaughter. Best we could do was save ourselves and try to report back to Driftwood. Lohar's got to know about this. So why are you still here if you need to go to Driftwood? I figured we'd hold tight for now. Just till we're sure the way's clear. Then we'll make a run for Driftwood. No point taking a risk and ending up split open on the grass. All right, fine, fine. Now, I'll beg your pardon and get back to settling things in here. Don't need to paint a target on our little den by gabbing with you all day. All right, fine. At least two of them in there, so at least a couple survived. Uh oh. Hmm. Key. Alright. What do you have? Oh! That is pretty neat looking armor. Well, taking that, I won't be needing it. Anything else? Potatoes. Hmm. Well, one chest. There's a chest up there. All right. Um. Stay here for a bit. If that chest is locked, I'm going to need to be up there. Oh. Now, oh, come on. Right. All right. Bomb. All right. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, nice view from up here. <laughs> uh. Hmm. All right. Check out what we have. Hmm. Rock crusher armor. Maybe we could give it to Sabeel. He could use a lot more. It requires strength 12. We could give it to the prince. Yes. Give his stuff to Sibyl. It's not incredibly powerful, but ah, we can't use it. I took away all her additional strength points. Maybe we should fix that. But anyway, hmm. Yes, it's a big improvement over what he had before. I think. 375 physical armor, that's a lot. B says 259, I have 220, Sibyl has 109. She needs a lot more physical armor. Yes, maybe we can give her something new. But what did the prince lose? We already leveled ourselves up. We distributed some points. The Geomancer. 
He lost a lot of points. Maybe he should get back that armor. Old armor is really useful. Hmm. At the very least, we could give Sabeel slightly more strength so she can wear it. You know what? Well, we're done here. We'll come back here. Sabeel, drop that, uh, drop your pyramid, the teleportation pyramid here. All right. Let's head back to the Lady Vengeance for now. 